Hello everyone, the purpose of today's video is to very quickly go through 50 of the different modules I use in my game. I have organized these by category, such as organization or combat. However, I will be going through these very quickly, so only expect like one to three sentences about each. Do not expect in-depth descriptions. The point of this video, the purpose, is to just give you a small taste so that you can go and research it further. Very quickly, if you don't know how to install modules, right here, add on modules, install module, and you can look at some of the options that already are available. If you find a module that is not on this list, you can import it as well, as long as it ends in the .json, and then press the install key. All right, let's go ahead and get started right away. Organization and UI changes. Compendium browser lets you have access to everything in your compendium with one click and a few simple searches. Custom hotbar adds an additional macro bar that can be changed and colored accordingly to your own preferences. Drag upload allows you to quickly drag on icons or pictures into your game that are uploaded and then changed into tiles. Item macro allows for the storage of macros on the item in the character sheet. Pop out used to pop out windows into their own separate window. Pop out resizer allows for the adjustment of windows for actors, items, journals, and more. Roll table button allows for quick access to all the tables imported into your game. Select tool everywhere adds the select tool to measurement, lighting, and sound. Tidy UI game settings makes a number of changes to make your game easier to organize, including collapsing your module settings like so. Third party importers. Creature DB import used to import a number of creatures that are homebrewed or converted from previous editions into your game. Dungeon Draft import used to import maps made in the Dungeon Draft program. Imported maps will still retain their walls and lights. D&D Beyond importer allows for importing characters from D&D Beyond with one click. Legend Keeper importer used to import journal entries from Legend Keeper into your game. Tetra Cube import used to import custom creatures that are made on the Tetra Cube website. Sounds and music. The Bellows module allows for streaming a single song from YouTube or importing an entire playlist to stream. The Maestro module allows for the quick and easy assignment of playlists or songs to characters or items. The Soundboard module comes packaged with a number of sounds but can also include your custom sounds as well, all of which can be played to your players with a single click. <laughs> Combat Helpers Combat Ready sets a timer for players during combat and allows them to end their own turn. Combat Utility Belt makes a number of changes including hiding actors' names, enhanced conditions, and the concentrator to keep track of when players are concentrating on spells. Dynamic Effects using Active Effects is a very powerful module. It can be used to create magic items, spells, class features, and much more. This module is especially powerful when paired with other modules. Easy Target allows for the quick targeting of characters by pressing Alt, click. Also, you can use Alt, Shift, C to clear all targets. MIDI QOL allows for the automation of attack rolls, saving throws, and much more. The Furnace, a module that brings in a number of different features across different categories, but some of them are macros that can be used in your combat. Let me roll that for you. A way to request roles from your players, especially helpful if you need to surprise your players or you have players that are new to Foundry. Token Action HUD, a module that allows for quick access to everything on a character when that character is selected. Token Info Icons, when a token is right clicked it will display the actor's movement speed, their AC, and their passive perception. Role Playing and Creativity. About Time, a module that creates an internal clock in your game. This can be used to keep track of the duration of spells, features, as well as it can be paired with the calendar weather module as I have here. NPC Chatter allows for the creation and use of random dialogue tables that can be displayed from NPCs or characters on your scene. Polyglot allows for the use of different languages. Any player that understands that language will see the text as intended any player that is not will see the text as different runic symbols. Theater inserts 
allows for the narrator mode as well as the placement of avatar images on the stage to give the game more of an RPG feel. Visual changes. Blood and guts. Creates a blood trail when it when a token is wounded. This blood trail will follow the token as they move around. Dice so nice allows the use of 3D dice in your game. This can be supplemented by also installing Lordu's custom dice, which allows for more patterns and colors. FX Master offers more weather effects, color effects, filters, as well as some spell effects as well. The Mess Module allows for the use of WebMs as spell templates, thereby creating animated spell effects like so. Token Attacher allows for the attaching of different elements, such as templates, to tokens, like so. Token Aura allows for auras to be created with the token at the center. Character Sheets and Items D&D 5e Dark Mode provides an alternative dark sheet version of the character sheet. D&D 5e Tidy Sheet and an alternative version of the character sheet that may be preferred by some of your players. It provides quick access to long rest, inspiration, and exhaustion levels. 5e Loot Sheet NPC can be used to create treasure chests, merchants, all of which can be interacted with by the players to loot or to buy and sell on their own. Magic Items helps in the creation of magic items for your game. Spells, feats, tables can be dragged onto magic items, which will then become available to your players in your game. General Additions Dice Tray Creates a tray of various dice underneath your chat log, which can be accessed with a few clicks. Tabbed Chat Log Separates your chat log into in-character, roles, and out-of-character talk to help keep things a bit more organized. Inline Web Viewer URLs can be sent directly to players, which can then be accessed and viewed directly within Foundry. Trigger Happy Allows for tokens to be used in your game to trigger a number of different effects, such as acting as portals, traps, causing chat messages to appear, or playing audio for all of your players simultaneously. Pings allows the Game Master and the players to ping the map. The Game Master can set the key binding for this as well as set the permissions accordingly, such as whether or not the players are allowed to drag the camera to a certain spot on the scene. Display Mode allows for all of the UI to be hidden when the anvil icon is clicked in the top left hand corner. I hope this video has been helpful. There are a number of modules I did not cover today, most notably all of the content packs. Those are packs that can add in maps or music or animated spells or much more into your game. So take a look at those on your own and decide what you want to use. As a final note, when you are adding in modules into your game, it's best to only add in a few at a time. So that way if something goes wrong, you can narrow it down very easily to what you added in and figure out what is happening. Alright, thanks everyone for listening. Let me know if there are any questions or comments down below.